This basic business makes $13,000 per month and the owner only sends out one email per week. They have over 59,000 email subscribers and they earn revenue from sponsorship places. How would you like to earn $13,000 per month for sending out just one email? This is the beauty of owning a newsletter business and nobody is talking about. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find and buy a newsletter business that's already making a ton of money per month. So if you're keen to open your eyes to the possibilities of making money for sending emails, hit the like button and let's crack on. And by the way, thank you so much for hitting the like button. It really does mean a lot. I appreciate it. Why are newsletter businesses so good? These are only just started to become big in the online business space. And with it being one of the least risky online business assets to own right now, how could it not be? The outlay for a newsletter is incredibly low in terms of expenses. You own the audience, unlike large social media sites where you don't, you own the email list of subscribers paying you money. Per month and you can promote very niche products your own or they can be affiliate products to your audience and also have advertising partners be happy to pay you large sums of cash this newsletter makes thirteen thousand dollars per month sending out one email per week on how to invest in traditional markets like stocks forex and crypto the incredible thing is that it takes three hours to write the one email the owner hasn't outsourced this task yet and to pay someone three hours to write a newsletter would likely only cost around hundred dollars per issue maybe even less. Then all your operational tasks are handled and you can spend time on growing the business. Now they get their new subscribers from places like Google, Instagram, and TikTok, and they're growing at a rate of over 2000 new subscribers per week. That's a solid growth rate for a business that is up for sale. And there's tons of these newsletter businesses for sale. Let me show you where you can go away and find some of these newsletter businesses. Place number one is juice, D-U-U-C dot up. Uh, you can sign up to juice for free and I'll put a link to them in the description as well. Once you sign up, you can just click on buy a newsletter and it'll go to all these different types of newsletters for sale. Then what you wanna do is you wanna scroll through and you can look at the different types of businesses for sale. Normally they're gonna have their asking prices, how big the list is, but they don't have the revenue on here yet. I suggest as a user interface, they do change that, but typically the larger the business is actually earning money. The smaller ones, say for example, a $5,000 a week startup, if we go have a look at this, they got 3,000 subscribers, it's five thousand dollars i don't think they're probably making much money well they are they're making about 200 newsletter businesses have a a different multiple typically a higher multiple than most online businesses so if you go five thousand divided by 200 that's 25 months which is pretty good multiple that's like a two point nearly one nearly a 2.1 annual multiple for this business which is quite good for us for a small little business like this Typically, the larger ones are going to have higher multiples because they got more subscribers they're going to be a bit older and the, typically the larger the asset the less risk. It does say no revenue on these ones that have no revenue, but let's look at say a larger one, Bull Street Talk. Okay, so this is about 100K. It's a newsletter is providing info on how to become a smart investor. Now they're making $5,000 a month. That's not too bad, that multiple as well, right? So you've got 100,000 divided by 5,000 because I don't use my brain much. 20, 20 month multiple under a two year multiple, which is quite good. As we go through, you can see they've got a larger churn rate than most. Normally a churn rate is it's around like one to two percent there's about three percent it's not too bad but they are gaining around 10,000 subscribers per month is what they're saying. This is what you'd need to be checking throughout your due diligence, which I'll talk to you about very soon in this episode or this video as well. Now they're doing daily. So that's five to seven a week. And it's taking one hour a week to issue that, uh, one hour per issue. So maybe you have somebody that can write these for you uh, and you know, an hour's work for a good writer might cost you anywhere from 10 to $30, which is nothing in the scheme of $5,000 per month. Right, so just let's just say it's twenty dollars per issue, and it's seven issues, obviously one hundred and forty per week. So you times that by four for a month, right? It's it's not too bad. Sorry, what's two sevens? It's two hundred and ten. So you've got eight hundred and forty per month, and you're going to be making about four thousand ish dollars, forty two hundred ish dollars per month uh, with your actual business that you're not needing to do the work in terms of delivery for it. So they got a subscriber base, new subscribers, quite a lot. It's down, as you can see, which means the business is decreasing. Um, they're making money through sponsorship placements, but you can go away and you can look at the newsletter by clicking on these links. 
newsletters too, right? So that's Juice. Obviously, they've got a bunch of different newsletters. Typically, the they just list newsletters where they have people that start newsletters on this actual platform. Juice aside, we do have Empire Flippers. Empire Flippers, you'll need to set up a, an account as well. It's free, but you also will need to typically provide proof of funds. And then once you get inside, then you can go to monetizations, filter monetizations and click on newsletters. They don't have a whole lot for sale right now. Then you have flipper.com. Very, very popular. As I said, links will be in the description to all of these. Go, you can log in, you need to sign up for an account, it's free as well. And then you can go and look at businesses for sale. And there's a bunch of different ones you can choose from. I typically, for newsletter businesses, go down to newsletters in the asset type and look at those. Now, let's have a quick look at some of these here and point out some risks for you. The ones that are confidential, you need to sign an NDA. It's a non-disclosure agreement. As you can see, you got the asking price. Typically, the higher the asking price, the least risk, right? It's like typically the larger the investment or the business is, the least amount of risk it will have. Now, there's not a whole lot of newsletter businesses for sale on Flipper. And these are affiliate sales. This one's Ad Design Zoo. It's only making $31 per month. That's a very, very small business. Now, IV Trades. This one, 15,000 and it's making 3,600 per month. So as you can see, you know, from five-ish months, you know, half a, half a year multiple, you can pay this business off pretty quick. It is nine years old. However, um, I dare say it's got quite a lot of risk with this business. Obviously you need to be doing your due diligence. I'll talk to you about that very, very soon. Very small multiple. Um, and then you can go through and look at, you know, about the business, how it operates, how they're getting new customers and all that sort of stuff. But definitely do your due diligence on this one. The last one I want to talk to you about is Microns. You can go and sign up for account at app.microns.io. There'll be a link in the description. It's free. Once you've done that, you can go and click on buy a startup and navigate over to the newsletters that they have for sale. Now, you may be thinking, hang on, Jared, this seems too good to be true. What's the actual catch? Well, like any investment, and these being one of the least risky businesses to own right now, in my opinion, being newsletters, and I've acquired, I've helped people acquire thousands of businesses, there are still some risks with these newsletter businesses that you need to be aware of. So before we move on, if you haven't yet got my online business due diligence framework that takes a guesswork out of buying a business like a newsletter that saved people millions of dollars and made people millions of dollars, go away and get my due diligence framework for free. Download it by clicking the link in the description. What risks should you be looking out for when buying a newsletter business? Firstly, you want to be looking at the unsubscribe rate. Are they losing more subscribers than they're actually gaining? That's important to know. And if they are, why is that? I always like to ask the why questions. Why, 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 why? To get to the end result of understanding like, is this something you can turn around yourself if you do become the new you also want to be checking the advertisement contracts that the business will have with different sponsors to see when those agreements and contracts may expire. And maybe if you can get in touch with the, you know, the sponsors and have a chat with them and ask them, how do you like working with this business? Would you consider renewing? If so, for how long? And then you can start to see, you know, the value that business provides to its sponsors. And that's going to help you value the business as well. If you see that there is some discrepancy in, it's very, very valuable and business wants to continue sponsoring it for a long period of time so it's so great maybe that newsletter business isn't charging them enough for sponsorship placements and you may be able to go away and bargain for better placements with bigger sponsors possibility so there's some value you can be looking for also you don't want to buy a media business like this and lose a portion of your revenue just for not checking contracts right you should also check how the email promoting ROI for the effort they're putting into growth I love newsletter businesses and the next business I will likely be a newsletter business due to it already owning the audience. Use the sponsors you already have as leverage to get better deals with other sponsors, which can increase revenue if you have business without actually focusing on alone growing the new subscribers. If you think about this worldwide more than ever, people are actually getting tired of consuming free content to learn something. We're all starting to get used to paying for better content in a more condensed version that helps us a hundredfold. And this is what courses and which newsletters are like mini courses where subscribers only need to pay a small fee it can be a few dollars a month up to 10 to 20 dollars per month 30 40 sometimes even people pay up to 100 dollars per month for a newsletter so much value in these newsletter businesses and i feel they're only going to get better and better now how you provide delivery to the subscribers it may actually just be a newsletter at first and eventually maybe you're paying subscribers you might create a podcast where it might be easier for you to create the content versus writing and you might hire somebody to do that for you as well there's so much room to play with newsletters especially when i think about 
buying an email list that's interested in one specific niche, you can start selling multiple products and services that you don't need to do to gain traffic for because you've already got that traffic in a newsletter. I'm talking, it can be affiliate products, it can be drop shipping products, serving products in terms of self-distribution products, it can be other people's products as well, deals and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of value in an email list that's already paying you a monthly fee. Check out these newsletter businesses. There'll be links to them in the description. Hey, YouTube watcher, it's Jared Krause here. And if you watch this video up until now, please smash the like button. I'm glad you liked the video. Also, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're doing super good. Also want to ask you, please consider subscribing because right now my commitment and exploration on YouTube is exploding. I'm talking more stories, more polls, more amazing content, surprise and delight. And this is the time scribe. So I hope you consider it and I hope to see you on the next video.